friends welcome back to the sessions in today's session we are going to discuss about number packages so for that first i'll create a number variable with some default value so here i went to the variables panel and i choose the create new variable and here in the type of variables i'm going to choose the number okay <clears throat> So now what I'll do is I'll create, I'll be providing a name for my variable. Okay. I'll say the yeah, sample number is already there. I'll consider it as number example. The default value will be always zero. If you want to give it as null, you can. Or else if you want to provide any value also, you can be provided. So I'm giving a yes, I'm giving 25 as a default value. So I'm applying here. So let me check that whether my number example variable is created and assign the value properly or not. So for that, I'll go to the actions panel. Here, I'll search for the message box. Dragging this message box here. And here, I'll be providing the number example. But here, if you observe, see, it is not showing the number example variable for you to print inside the message box. The reason is the message box does not support number type variables to print it. So for that, I need to do the type casting. That means I need to convert the number type variable to the string type. So how can I do that is, so here in the screen, I'll be providing one dollar symbol here. You see, it will be displayed all available variables in this task irrespective of the data type. Now what I'll do is, I'll select the number example. But whenever I selected the number example here, if you observe, it is showing the error. How can I say this is error means? See, this box is highlighted with the red mark and here in red color, it is showing a caution symbol. That means this is not the expected value. So here I need to convert this into the string type. How can I do that is simple. Just before the dollar symbol, last dollar symbol, I'll put the cursor and I'll give a dot then it will show me the conversion option. So here, I'm going to choose the number to string. Now, if you observe, see, this caution symbol is gone. That means now this is in the expected format. Let me run it now. See, once this bot is executed, that 25 will be printed on the message box. The 25 has been printed. Okay. For suppose, if you want to change the value for this particular variable, for that again, you need not to come to variables panel and you need not to edit this one directly. You can assign the new value by using the assign function under the number package. For that, I'm going to the actions panel and I'm searching for number package. Under number package, I am taking assign button, sorry, assign command. So here, and choosing the value as 25.345. This is my expected value and I will be assigning this back to the number example. If I execute the bot now, the 25 will be overwrite with the 25.345. So for the better understanding, I will be changing it as 24. Okay. It will be overriding now. Let's run it see the result now see if you observe this it is showing only 24 it is not showing the 3 4 5 the reason is whenever i do the inline type casting like this it will not be considering, see, whenever I do the inline type casting like this, it will not be considering the values after the decimal. If I want to get the values along with the decimals, I need to use the two string parameter here. I mean, two string command here. If I go 
here and here i am entering the string example as the input because the string example variable is having the value as 24.345 that's the reason here i am providing the string example value here see here in the next box it is asking for that the enter the number of digits after decimal that means you can decide that how many digits should be there after the decimal so here i'll be giving as five but our uh, original value has only three values after the decimal and i am assigning it to the string type because here i am converting the number into string type right that is the reason the output format of this particular command is sample string so now i am coming to the message box here and now what i'll do is i'll select the sample string here now it will be printing complete value it is executing now see if you see it is provided extra two zeros the reason behind this is i said that five value should be there after decimal that's the reason it is provided extra two zeros even though i have three digits after the decimal if i limited here to just two it will be giving just three four it will not be going to print the five let me execute and demonstrate the same Two four dot three four. The five has been eliminated because I restricted the decimal values up to two positions only. That is the reason. Remember this. This will be just cut off the values. It will not perform the round off. Okay, guys. If it's perform the round off, it should be three dot three five. It should not be three four. It's just eliminated the last value as I limited to the two positions. That's it. It will not perform any rounding operations here. Just remember that. And the next thing is increment. Increment is simple thing. So it will be perform the addition. I'll show you how it will be. So for suppose here the number value is twenty four dot three four five, right? So here I will be performing one increment operation here. So here I am taking that number example and Increment value is one. Whenever I add it one, it will become twenty five dot three four five. And I am again assigning back to number example. Then it will be converted as a string and it will be printed here. So for better understanding, here I am changing it to three. So now it will become twenty five dot three four five. Twenty five dot three four five. In this increment position, instead of one, if I provide four, it will become twenty seven. So the value will be addition to the given value. I am executing this now. In the same way, the decrement operation will work here. In the decrement, it will perform perform the subtract operation. See, it became twenty eight. Twenty four plus four. Twenty-eight, right? And decimal value still same. But let's see one thing. What if uh, I provided decimal value here? See, it is not the expected thing. It will be help us to perform the only integer values. It doesn't perform the decimal values. So, for suppose if you want to add the decimal values there is another method so instead of using increment method you can use the assign itself how can we do that is i'm copying this assign here so in this assign what i'll do is i'll take the string example sorry not string example number example here and i'll perform plus symbol here And I'll be giving six here. Now it should become thirty dot three four five. Let's execute and see the value. Okay. 
30 dash 345. But I want to perform the addition with decimal side. That's the reason I am providing 6.5 here. Now let's execute it. See, it's become 845. 3 plus 5 is 8, right? That's the reason the first position of the decimal become 8. So like this, we can perform the addition operation. So the only remaining command under the number is decrement. Decrement will work opposite to the increment. So it will be help you to subtract the integer values from the given value. That's how it will be working. This is about number package, guys. If you like our video, please do share and subscribe. Thanks for watching our video. Thank you.